Hello everyone. In today's lesson, we will see how to work with data analytics using PLSQL or Oracle SQL. So we will here do some basic data analysis uh, on some data. I have some tables in front of you. Okay, this is a, a employees are. Um, employee HR tab tables okay so regarding attendance and salary so we have four tables one is employee monthly information which contains employee attendance and one is employee salary one employee master and one section master okay let us just go through the data once and see what we are going to use in one of the query we will use section master employee master employee salary and in another query we will use section master employee master and employee monthly info so let us first check with employee monthly info see employee monthly info we have um, month year we have employee id okay uh, we forget about employee code and here what what we have we have some datas okay we have some figures like fhs data which is festival holidays cl days which is casual leave days el days which is on leave days lwp days which is leave, it, leave without pay days So we will find out um, the suppose uh, casual leave days, on leave days, uh, leave without pay days, okay, of a particular employee, and the percentage of average leave taken in a certain month, but for a particular section, I mean department, and his, I mean we will just compare his uh, the, the employees CL days or casual leave days with the uh, total average number of employees of department casual leave days and I find out the percentage okay so we will find out for CL days, EL days, working days uh, everything okay in the same way uh, for the salary what we will do we will take the cross pay uh, here we have to cross pay so we will take the gross pay of a particular employee and the average gross pay of a particular month of a particular department and find out the percentage, what percentage of salary he received. So that is our statistical analysis and we have a few scale code. So first we will go for the employee attendance. So we will start with the working days. And let us first uh, arrange this one in a proper fashion so that we can understand. Okay, so this is our SQL code. So just bring it a little down. Okay, so what we have, we have employee code, employee name, employee grade, section name, month year, working days. Average working days and working days by average in 200, which is percentage. So we have got this from our listed loop, which is our exact SQL. Okay, we have employee code from employee name, employee grade from employee master, section name from section master, month year working days, and here we have one analytical function. Okay, average, average. Okay, which is actually calculated calculating with the partition by section ID. I told you by we will uh, find out the average on section, I mean, department ID, month year, and employee grade. Okay. The, because we are actually working here with uh, employee, a particular grade of employee, like uh, here we have worker, okay, factory workers, we are working on that. Okay, so what, what we have done, we have done one left outer join, we have taken employee master, section master from where we are getting this field and this is the function which is actually working here. LVG working days over partition by section ID, month year and employee grade. Okay, so we will run this. See, what we have. This is for a particular employee for his all the months. Okay. So you see uh, here we have 
working days 13 average working days 11.27 so he his contribution is much more than 100 percent that is 115.3 okay so if you go down you see there are less working days also okay you can also sort this okay we let us do one thing we short, sort this in Uh, let us say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Order by 8 in descending order. Okay. Eight DSC. Okay, we sum up the which is blank because uh, we have should have if we have taken NBL then this would be solved maybe it will come zero percent but still so here we have um, I think uh, it's not still right uh, one two three four five six seven eight yeah it is so oh DSC I have done in DS descending order so I will delete this and do it in ascending order I run it again see zero working days we have some employees didn't work at all and this have say one two three so so this is one analysis and suppose we want to <coughs> do it on sections on section ID not month year so I drop this month year drop it uh, better if we just comment it and not to remove it you can use it later on so this will be ordered by 7 <coughs> so we'll get a total how much he has worked Let us not complicate it, complicate this. Okay, now right now in this case it is not possible because working days are on month. So in that case we have to first sum up the working days for a year. Okay, so I'm not going into that. So now what we do, we just come here and we change it to say absent days, LWP days. Average LWP uh, in the same way, we'll change it here. And here also. to zero okay so in this case we have to write one decode statement decode a v g l w p zero then zero else round okay
Oh my God, there are some negative LWP. Some wrong calculations are there. Okay, we can do one thing. We can, if we put one where clause here, say where. Ah, sorry. And LWP is than zero. Stop this. Okay. Okay. See. So we have the percentage, okay. What is the average absent of the section and how much his absent is, okay. So this is uh, somehow some analytical functions is there, okay. So you can see that some are 14 days absent out of 15 days, okay, or out of 30 days. Uh, so in that case, the average is very less, so his absent is far more. So this is of one employee attendance and now I will take uh, an example of employee salary. Let us design this again. Okay. And First on this, okay. So you can see the average pay is six thousand eight hundred seventy-three. Okay. So uh, here also we can do the same. Like uh, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So we'll just put order by seven. So, so many gross pay, zero. Okay, uh, I'll do one thing. Uh, this is, uh, here we have uh, two type of employees, one worker and one staff. So, we should not compare staff with worker. So, we can say where EMP grade Okay, now it's correct. See, there are manager, manager, employee, some higher level employee who have a who have a very good salary, and some staff level or their office boy level employee who have less salary. So we have all the percentage. Who is getting what? Okay, so so this is all about the. This is the first lesson. We will come out with more interesting analytical functions okay analytical task okay, where i'll show you more interesting thing how to get uh, data like this okay uh, how many what employees have worked more what employees have worked less okay how many employees have done more over time how many employees have done less over time so th there we can do a lot of analysis so what uh, we will Actually, use uh, we will, uh, I will use the Taylor school analytical functions, different type of analytical functions there, and we will continue with our data, our data analytics uh, tutorial with this. Okay, I hope you like this, and do. please do comment uh, if you have any questions, and also if, tell me if you don't like uh, something about this video. Okay, please comment and do subscribe to my channel.
थैंक यू वेरी मच